with those hip studs, man. <laughs> well, I'm not Josh Bader. Well then, <laughs> New Year's went there. All right, guys. <laughs> he brought the trailer. He gave us the okay as soon as it pulled up on the trailer. Now that was that it. Crazy. That was already messed up. That means you instantly get to bring the trailer map. <sighs> You ready, bud? Ready, do it. Just like that, just shut off. Well, I've been here before. What's up guys, and we're into the next morning, and today we are working on the Evo while Steve is knocking some tunes out. And I went ahead and got the factory ECU out of this car. So as you can see here, this is the casing of the factory ECU. Just slides in and out of it. There's the actual factory board. And here is the new Link ECU. So it's really as simple as slide this out, slide this in, plug it in, we're ready to roll guys. So we have uh, some connections here we're gonna screw into. It, and they give you that harness inside of here as well. So if I pull this out, this is how you will be able to uh, connect to the computer if I can grab it. There we go. So we will need to run that up to like the glove box, which is very nice since the ECU in here is already right behind the glove box. Makes it super easy to work on. I did decide since we have all these gauges up here, this is a custom piece that was made for the car. Um, I'm going to pull out the volt gauge up there. And we're going to put our fuel pressure that was down here up where the volt gauge was and then put our ethanol down here. So that way those all match up top and then we have our one non-matching gauge down here by itself. I think that'll look better. So that's what I've been working on here this morning as well. You can see I have my little pod here that goes down in that center console. We have our new innovative gauge. So working away here. Don't know how much I'll get to record, but I'll try to do my best for you guys. And I'm going to get this ECU in the car and start getting that flex fuel wired. As you guys saw last night, we did finish up the whole fuel system on the car. Car's running perfect. So this is the last step that we really need to take care of. And we need to wire in some features on the ECU, such as rolling anti-leg. And we need to flex, put the flex fuel into it. So I got to figure that out. I'll keep you guys updated. Yeah. How's it going? What's up, guys? How's it going? Towed the car here. Oh, yeah. Let's go look at her. Yeah. Go outside. We gotta do a flex fuel kit on Chandler's car. So we're gonna get that knocked out so that Steve can continue working over there. Oh, nice fog light covers, guys. How do you like them? What's that? How do you like your fog light covers? They look I good. I like them, yeah. Pretty, pretty little front end mod, I'd say. Look at that, guys. Where'd you get those for those that are gonna uh, ask? Rally Vertex. He makes them. Uh, How much? They're 210, I think. Look at that, it's kind of like the old school look. Yeah, yep, he makes them paint match for every limited color you can get, so. Nice. Yeah, so I know they're in stock right now, so. Well, those are really nice. He told you where to get them. We're gonna get the hood open and we're gonna knock out this flex fuel sensor. That way he's ready to go on the dyno right away. Well, we got Chandler's car all buttoned up. It's getting ready to go on the dyno here. But in the meantime, I've been working on the Evo in the background getting that flex fill kit into the car. I did get the ECU done. I was gonna show you guys that. It literally just looks like a stock ECU. So let's grab this thing as I lean in here. Check it out guys. Boom. So it just looks like a stock ECU. You would never know. I put the link sticker over the factory barcode. Otherwise you literally would never know. So that's gonna get bolted back up into the factory spot. We got the flex fill kit on. I'm wiring that, but I got a surprise guys. Ta-da! These are actually going bye-bye today. So I know a lot of you are like, oh, what kind of offset is that? Well, that's what came with the car, but you guys are gonna have to wait and we're gonna show you some new wheels today. So they're on their way right now. Once they get here, I'll put them on the car and I'll show you guys. Look at you guy on the dyno, like big time. Yeah. You ready for this moment? A little nervous, but yeah. A little nervous. Is Steve ready for this moment? Yeah. He knows what's about to happen. Party time. Yeah. He brought the trailer. He gave us the okay as soon as it pulled up on the trailer. Oh, that was that, that was already messed up. That means you instantly get to bring the trailer map. 
bring the trailer map. The trailer's already here. <laughs> you, you already have the trailer. <laughs> you get the trailer ready map. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna start tuning this in on this lovely hot day of 93 degrees. It's 88 in the shop right now. Man, it's hot. So, well, keep guys updated as we start doing polls. We had to go get some food, but Steve was able to finish this thing up on pump gas. We didn't really end up pushing it that far, but it did make 346 and 304 torque. So he's just finishing up the maps right now, and then we're gonna switch this thing over to E85 and really party, guys. Pretty excited. Chandler was super happy. You know, it, it made 407 dyno jet, so I mean 400 horsepower on pump gas on a stock motor. That's doing good, guys. pressure being a little bit low it's at 40 um, the reason being was when we originally put that on he was tuned for a stock regulator which is 38 psi I'm looking for a 14 here and uh, so we set it up to be the same and now obviously since we're retuning the car we're gonna up fuel pressure up to 50 to try to get a little bit more out of those injectors so let me find the tool and we were using it last night, but I don't know where the heck JR put it. Found it. Ta-da! So, let's go raise this fuel pressure. this set up I'm gonna tighten that up and we're gonna make another hit see how the air fuel is this is pretty much where we max out these ID 1050s on this dyno 
is right at 420, sorry. Right at the 420 mark, so let's see how that does. She's making power. Damn injectors. Told you to get bigger injectors. Yeah. Dang it, guy. Yeah. We can be making 600 right now. Woo! No. Not that. But she's gonna make power. Yeah. Excited? Already making good power. Yeah. Happy? Oh, yeah. yeah. All the parts worth it. So far, so good. She yeah. didn't have to try. I'm not gonna mention the wastegate line. That's for another day. Oh, thanks, guy. There we go. down a little bit air fuel was looking good he's gonna look at injector duty cycle see if we can turn this thing up a little bit more right there was 25 26 pounds so we'll see how it does on the next pull Probably gonna pull the boost back a little bit, I would assume, and then that's is what it is. Yeah. This guy just needs to upgrade his fuel system now, the Hain, and a bigger motor. Well, I mean, we're oh, pretty much max turbo out anyways. Turbo, yeah. There's a little bit more. Yeah. Huh? It'll be good till we can go build block and rotate it, right? Yep. This is plenty. Yeah. Woo. Hell yeah. I'm Can't stoked. wait to get your face on the first drive. Yeah. Well, I'm just finished up Chandler's car, and we backed it down a little bit just because of the fuel system. So I made 401. Mustang 376 torque and that converts over to 485 and this is on a stock motor. Oh yeah, stock, stock clutch. clutch. Yeah. Woo! For now. You happy? Oh yeah, stoked. This guy's ready for the first yeah. drive. Oh yeah. You gotta see that and then he's gotta load it on his trailer and go home. Yep. So Long as soon as day. we get this thing off, we'll go ahead and get his first drive. You happy? You gonna record me recording you? Double video. Double video on you? Yeah, I'm happy. Yours is a lot easier to look at. Mm -hmm. Fine, looks like you got the paparazzi. iPhone, bro. Yeah. Well, got her done. E85. Yep. Maxed off the fuel injector. So you got intelligent, sport, and sport sharp. 100 wheel difference between sport and sport sharp. That's going to feel like you take. <laughs> <laughs> so, got this one done. You got any more? Yeah. Josh had to go get E85. Oh. And Travis is on his way. Oh boy. I want, I'm ready to party with Travis. Oh yeah. <laughs> Travis, 720 plus. Oh fuck. Yeah. Rest in pieces. We're going for the moon. <laughs> We're putting the moon tune on. Remember last time we did that? What car this was one that? Has that was series gray, right? This has fire locks, okay, and 280s. Mm -hmm. So. You gonna yell at the camera again like last time when it geysers? Fuck! And you'll be like, get that Give camera out of here. <laughs> 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 yep. All right, well, these guys are done. Yeah, Wait for the next one. And Travis, come in. Make some power. Yep. Ooh, ready for that test drive. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I like the stickers on the back window. Hey, whoa. Where'd that one come from? I made it. 
You made that? Like that. He's like, whoa! whoa copyrighted. Like, that is not approved. <coughs> what? You got uh, another one you want me to throw on there? No, I like it. Oh, okay. Yeah, Josh gave me one and it just like fell. At least apart. yours doesn't have a tail. Oh, there it went away. Ooh, it's starting to rain too. You gotta do a test drive. <laughs> Did it tell you how, how high up that is? We gotta right. get him in there. Yeah. Boy. All right. Well, let's see a test drive on this. I wanna see it. Yep. We're gonna go. Camera angle will be and perfect light. for both of us. You want to go? Yeah. You gotta ride right there and I can get your face. I'm not gonna say no. How do I get you a video? Here. I'm not gonna be holding. Well, apparently you gotta get a video for Steve. So I'm be holding both of these Lamborghinis. Gotta make sure this Lamborghini is in sport sharp. And we gotta turn traction control off because after you drive for a minute, it's gonna be freaked out oh. for just a moment. But, okay, I'm gonna do something new. Much easier when you can sit there and do this. Okay, I got all of us. I don't even need the camera. How am I gonna hold this? I'm gonna be like this. <laughs> Come back, turn this thing up, put some ID2000 in it, radium hanger in it, send it. You putting a, you putting a jack hanger in it or a hanger? Hanner. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. <laughs> Living like a fast lane. Living like a fast lane. Living like a fast lane.